Good morning, dogs. Hope you had a great weekend. After the pledge, we'll be talking about DECA, construction and civil engineering, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The DECA stock market game competitive event kicked off on Monday, September 11th. For three months, students will manage their stock market portfolio with the goal of, show, of growing their initial $100,000 by investing in stocks, mutual funds, and bonds. The top 25 portfolios in DECA Central Region will qualify for the International DECA Conference in California this April. At the close of the market on Friday, September 15th, first place was Junior Rosales, who is currently ranked 17th out of 400 teams. Congratula congratulations and good and keep up the good work. Last week, Wednesday on Wednesday the 13th, some of the principals of construction and civil engineering took a trip to see the Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio Regional Council of Carpenters facility in Greenwood, Indiana. There was a very short class on who they are, what they do, what is expected of you, the student, and the benefits of joining for a career. Then. They had a brief tour and were escorted to lunch. After lunch, the students were given time to explore the booths and actually try flooring, framing, drywall, virtual reality, personal fall arrest systems, talk to the employers, dry nails, concrete forms, pipe fitting, and more that carpenters do. Now to an amazing man, Carlos. Uh, as you can see, I'm not Aiden, and I don't know where everybody is today, as the whole crew is not here, and there's maybe like four people in here, but it's all right. We're going to get this done. In other news, the football team took strong steps this weekend in a 42-6 loss against the Lebanon Tigers. The Dogs will travel to Western Boone this week on Friday, and the JV will play, on, play at home on Saturday. And the Boys and Girls Cross Country team competed well in the, in the Flash Rock Invitational as Chris Angeles raced in the championship division against numerous state-ranked teams and finished 11th overall out of 188 runners, with a time of 15.52. For the girls' top finisher was Elena Ramirez in 16th place out of 116 runners, with a time of 21.54. And the volleyball team went 1-2 and two this weekend at the hot dog invite. And I'm not a big sports guy like Aiden, more of a substitutional type player, but I'm going to send it off to Big Hooper guy. What's going on, dogs? Aiden here. Doug got a chance to sit down with the tennis team and ask them a couple questions about their season. Here's what they had to say. What's up, dogs? I'm Doug, and this is Edwin, the one singles tennis player. And Edwin, how's the season gone so far? Uh, the season so far has gone pretty well. Uh, the beginning of the schedule, it's a little bit rough. We've played the more uh, competitive and the tennis schools, but we've competed. That's good to hear. So, how's the team improved from last year? Uh, we've improved a lot. Uh, in conference play, we're three and two, and the guys every day they challenge themselves and the other guys. And also, we're the most athletic we've been since I've been in high school, so that's a plus. Yeah, I wish some of those athletes would have played football, but <laughs> we won't get into that right now. Um, so, how's it like being a senior? Uh, it's pretty good, but it's weird since I'm the only senior. But I like the leadership role I take on, and I like encouraging the guys. And hopefully, when they're seniors, they're ready to take on the role and encourage the younger ones. All right, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh hey, Doug. What's up, Jay Ray? I'm here with the two singles player, Jay Ray. And uh, how's the season gone so far? I feel like our season's been going pretty good. Uh, got a lot of young guys on the team, trying to get them figured out still. Uh, a lot of guys that can switch out positions real easily. S still don't have a set lineup. It's different every, every match. So how's the team improved from last year? Um, we've improved a lot. We're more athletic. Like I said, young guys really helping up, helping us. We're uh, three and two in conference, trying to get more wins towards the end of the season. That's good to hear. How's the outlook for the rest of the season? Um, I feel like towards the end of the year, we should get more dubs. Um, to, uh, three and two in conference right now, hoping to keep that going. Um, just end of the season, got to keep keep it rolling towards sectional time. All right. Thank you, J-Ray, for sitting down with me. 
Thanks, Doug, for that great interview. Make sure to come out to the dogs' last home match of the season on Wednesday, the 20th, which will also be senior night. Senior night activities will start around 4.30. Hope to see you there. Thanks, Carlos. Good morning, dogs. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Today, the low will be 48. The high will be 71. We will have some patchy fog this morning. The wind is at 9 miles per hour. The humidity is 69%. That's it for the weather. Have a great Monday, hot dogs. Now back to your host. Congrats to our band and orchestra students on wonderful performance at the Raices Festival, football game, and farmer's market this weekend. For lunch today, in lines one and two, there's cheeseburgers, and in line three and four, it's bis biscuits and gravy with sausage links. A special happy birthday goes out to Jordan Goodnight, Juliana Hansen, Mariela Lopez Chavez, and Natalio Santos Alanis. That is all for the morning announcements. Have an amazing day, dogs.